So this image right here is one for my Instagram feed. It was a, a joke image of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger smoking a joint in a, in a coffee cup. Kind of looks like uh, coffee art, like nutmeg shavings or whatever, cinnamon. Let's call it cinnamon shavings. Um, so I'm going to go over how I did this. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, for my draw image, I'm going to pick uh, this picture of Johnny Cash eating cake in a bush. I'm going to leave everything as default, and uh, I'll start drawing. Now, I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to click the, I'm going to click the image control, this button, and then I'm going to click the background uh, slider, this, this background, so you'll see it get highlighted. Then click the thumbnail itself, and this will launch your gallery. Uh, so now I'm going to pick this coffee cup and I'm going to reposition it to about full screen. Um, let me straighten that out a little bit. All right. So next I'm going to click on the back on the draw image. I'm going to click on the reposition again. I'm going to turn the opacity down a little bit so I can get a better look at this and I'm gonna make Johnny Cash's face pretty big I tried to do it with Johnny Cash's being kind of small to get the full cake in there just didn't work out couldn't really tell what it was so you're uh, definitely welcome to try anything you want but sometimes you just have to give up on an idea and try it a different way um, I often make a lot of art and then just throw it out so Next, we're gonna uh, we're gonna pull our min all the way to the left to make it as small as possible, and then we'll pull our uh, our dot size. Actually, you know what? We'll pull our min about a click or two from the left, uh, and yeah, then we'll leave. We'll put the max dot size at about here, something like that. Um, We'll turn the brush size pretty small. The density, you can leave it. I pulled it up a little bit. You can leave it at, at default. So next up, what we have what we're trying to do, and this is the tricky part, we want to we want to pick a color that matches the cinnamon shavings. And so it's probably somewhere in the really dark red, like where red hits yellow and black. That's where brown lives, <laughs> let's just say. Uh, and then we're going to turn the opacity down a little bit just to help the blending. And we're going to turn the hardness down as well. So this might take a couple tries to get the right color, but this looks okay. This looks pretty good. We'll, we'll at least start out with that. So now as we draw, we can see that Johnny's face starts to show up. We'll get some of the leaves in there too. I guess we can't really tell that there's cake all over his face, but it still looks pretty funny. Uh, so now that we've done it in that, now we're gonna pick a, a little bit lighter tone of uh, that brown and we will make our dots. We'll pull the left, we'll pull the min dot slider all the way to the left and the right one pretty close to the left too. And then we'll just go over it a little bit more. And this will just add a little bit more depth to the effect, make it look a little bit more like the cinnamon. Now let me hide our, uh, our background and we can definitely see that it's Johnny in, the, in a, maybe not in a bush, but we can see it's Johnny. So, now to complete this effect, I'm going to I'm going to make our dot size just a little bit bigger. We're going to pick a uh, a light tone that kind of matches the the uh the foam on top. It's kind of like a cream and then in in the uh, the levels, we're gonna flop. We're gonna flip over 
the uh, the draw map. So now the the gradient strip has the white on the right. And so now when we draw, we'll just be pulling out the... Um, Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit undo. I didn't really like that too much. We'll basically be covering up the the cinnamon that was in the photo itself to pull out our drawing a little bit more. Let me just pick a better uh, color, maybe like that. And I'm gonna I'll turn the opacity down. That usually helps too. Uh, you know, I'll just pick a solid white, go over it a little bit. Anyway, as you can see, it, if I spend more time on this, I think I could get the effect a little bit better. I think the Arnold Schwarzenegger original one, it, it, I did a better job on it. I definitely spent more time on it. Um, but this in itself, uh, I think, I think looks pretty good. I mean, at least good enough to get the point across, right? I mean, it, it's kind of funny. I mean, it's not like this is a uh, serious art or anything. Uh, it's just kind of a cool effect that you can do when you draw with dots. So uh, thanks for watching. Let's see what you guys can do with it.